On April 9, 2010, 11-year-old Nadia Bloom decided to go exploring in the swampy woods behind her home in Winter Springs, Florida. She did not come back out until searchers found her on April 13, 2010. Fortunately, she was merely dehydrated and covered with mosquito bites. Thank God, searchers kept looking and didn't give up hope, despite the fact the swamp was on the edge of Lake Jessup, where water was waist-deep on adults in many places, and there were alligators everywhere. For decades, Lake Jessup was where nuisance gators were released, so the lake is practically crawling with gators. And thankfully, the lake was not flooded like it was in 2004 when the water was over her head throughout the swamp. We were living in Winter Springs at the time, and I was reminded of the incident during my recent visit with family in the area during a hike along the Florida River where we spotted a rather large gator. On the way back to their house, we drove by Lake Jessup and the swamp where Nadia hid for five days. Unless you've been in some of these swampy areas, you have no idea how thick and mucky a cypress swamp can be. That's why it took several days and hundreds of searchers combing through it foot by foot to find her. Today, Saturdays in the Psalms edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible and American Missionary returns to Psalm 32 with a focus on one verse. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of waters they will not reach him. Psalm 32, verse 6. Having just reminded his audience of the forgiveness awaiting the penitent sinner, Psalm 32, verse 5, David calls on those who would seek God to do so while they can. Those who seek God won't be swept away by the flood of judgment that comes on the wicked who reject God's offer of forgiveness. Those searching for Nadia Bloom had been relentless, but were nearing exhaustion and on the brink of losing hope when she was found. In a similar way, we need to be relentless in our effort to find God through prayer and obedient faith. Like those searchers, we need to be searchers who seek God nonstop for our entire lives. But you want to know the good news? We don't have to exhaust ourselves or give up hope because God isn't hiding from us. He has openly revealed himself to us in his Son and through his Holy Spirit revealed word. God is waiting patiently out in the open for the penitent searcher to come to him. He's waiting now for you, too. Will you come? Thank you for watching today's Saturdays in the Psalms edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible and American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.